I was so wrong. I was so wrong. This is by far my most successful event ever, and the wind is crazy. I'm about to get blown away. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Ari. I am a mama by day and a small business owner by nap time. My business is Petal Pink Gems, where I sell all things earrings, bookmarks, and claw clips, and things of the sort. Today, we're going to be talking about a pop-up that I had recently that went from being super cozy to absolutely chaotic, and it ended up wrapping up being my absolute best market to date, which is insane because I thought that it was going to be really small, and I just did not think that it was going to be as successful as it was. So if you're interested in seeing how this market went from chaotic to just from cozy to chaotic to yeah, just all around good, keep on watching. Thank you so much for being here. This week is pretty full, as you can see. It's not too crazy, but yeah, this is kind of like my schedule for the week and everything is coded according to what I have on my website. So for example, the SD is my Strawberry Daisy bookmarks. The GDC is my Gold Drippy Cloud bookmarks. And the HSC is my Heart Saturn heart saturn cloud bookmarks and my primary note for this year or this month is new year big goals remember your why in all your ways acknowledge him yes This is by far my most successful event ever, and the wind is crazy. My setup has basically been blown down because it's so windy, but y'all, I'm so glad that I did this. I'm about to get blown away. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, it is 10 days from the pop-up that I had. I have some notes here right here just in case I need a reminder of everything that happened because it has been 10 days. To see if y'all a little bit of information about the event. So it was a mushroom festival. This took place on March 2nd which, you know, being in the Midwest, you really don't know what the weather is gonna be like. So about a week and a half before the event, the coordinator reached out to let everyone know or remind everyone that it was going to be an outdoor market. And I had no idea that it was going to be. I just knew that it was gonna be inside. So with it being outside, I was like, oh shoot, like I don't know how the weather is gonna be. So I um, knew that I had to prepare for it. All right, y'all, so Nora obviously just bust in here, but I have put Miss Rachel on for about the five minutes that it's gonna take for me to review. So let's lock in and let's review. Yeah, so the event was about six hours long. It was from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And what I was saying was before uh, Nora came in was that I wasn't made aware until about a week before the event, a week and a half, that it was going to be an outdoor event. Like I just assumed that it was going to be indoor. So whenever I found out that it was gonna be outdoor, I was like, oh no. <laughs> like I, knowing that it was gonna be outdoor, I didn't know what the weather was gonna consist of. Like here, it's really, really windy. So I knew that it was a lot of potential for it to be a lot of wind. And um, just as far as just like my displays and stuff, I didn't know if the new rotating displays um, that I got were going to hold up in the wind and yeah just they didn't they didn't hold up in the wind so what I had to do with my display was I had to basically get rid of both of my rotating displays um, and then my earring display that I have that is normally like sitting up I had to lay that flat I had a lot of stuff just laying flat, y'all. Just laying flat, which is something that I don't typically do like at all. Like you want your pieces to be elevated so uh, they can be more at like eye level with your customers. So I had, yeah, nothing was eye level for the most part. Like everything was basically like laying flat because the wind was insane. Like it was so windy, like y'all could see all my stuff was laying flat. And because I didn't have two of my displays, a lot of my items were um, either like draped over like a bowl. That's how my I displayed my bookmarks like I did a really long time ago. And then my keychains, I literally just had to put in the dish. And I was like, you know, I, at this point, I'm just gonna let my products speak for themselves. And they did obviously because everything basically so much sold out which was crazy to me it was it was amazing so before i get too ahead i did want to let you all know what the vendor fee was so the vendor fee was 35 dollars, and my sales goal was 166 dollars. and you might be thinking like only 166 dollars like where do you get that number from so something that i've been doing like the past two pop-ups is making my sales goal based off of you know like actual numbers because before i would just have a number in my head be like oh my sales goal is going to be 700 dollars, and if i don't get that like i didn't meet my goal which was you know it wasn't really realistic as far as like where i was getting that number from it was just something that i was just like shooting for which is great like i still have like the goal numbers like goal sales that i shoot for but now with my sales goal, I follow this formula that I made up on my own, which is the vendor fee. I multiply that by two. And then I multiply the hourly rate that I wanna get paid by the amount of hours that the event is. So in this case, being paid $16 an hour and I work six hours and the vendor fee times two, that equaled out to be $166. You know, I feel like that's fair. Like that's the minimum that I'll be able to make and be like, oh, hey, like it was worth my time. It was worth my energy. So I don't feel like I just wasted time. Like that's like my bare bones minimum goal. Like that is what I have to accomplish or the market is poochies. <laughs> so um, long story short, I surpassed that goal by so, so much. I don't even know. Yeah, I'll have to see. Uh, math wise i don't even know let's let's pull out my handy dandy calculator <laughs> pull out my calculator and see how much that is um so basically it's i made 8.9 times the 166 dollars 
that's how much I made total. So let me just make sure I did, I computed that right in the calculator. Yeah, I did. So about nine times my sales goal is how much I made at this previous market. <laughs> Insane, that is so good. Um, and you know, given that the event was what it was, I did not expect it at all. So this was an event that I had applied for a while back um, and the coordinator ended up getting back to me and letting me know that, you know, it was full. There was no more spaces left and i was like oh okay like do you have any others coming up and she let me know that she did have a mother's day event coming up so i applied for it and in the midst of applying for that mother's day event she reached out to me again and she let me know that um a spot came open like someone didn't pay their vendor fee and i sent that vendor fee Oop, immediately <laughs> sent that vendor fee and um you know as far as just my expectations for this event I didn't have high hopes for it because it is on the west side, which is the quieter side of town. Um, it's not as popular as downtown, which is where like a lot of my events are and those do fairly well. And also it was at a smaller cafe. So with being at a cafe, I um, didn't think that it'd be a lot of traffic. So the coordinator did let us know that 3000 people said that they're interested on Facebook. And um, I honestly just took that with a grain of salt because a lot of people be like, oh, I'm gonna go and then don't show up, especially like in our town. So um, I kind of just wrote it off as that. And I, <laughs> I thought that it was going to be just like a mom and pop type of uh, event with not a lot of people, just families who were coming to the cafe. I was so wrong, I was so wrong. The setup and everything, it was horrendous because um, it was so windy. And the spot that I was in, it was literally like at the lower end of a, like a little hill. And I was getting like all the, like the brute force of the wind. So I was getting wind from the left, from the right, from the center, everywhere. I was getting a whole bunch of wind and it felt like I was gonna blow away. Um, and if I didn't, you know, think fast and lay all my items down and uh, just use what I had and try to make do, I probably would have went home. Like I almost started crying a couple times because, you know, nothing was working out in my favor. I just felt like my display was horrible and that no one was going to be attracted to my booth, which was wrong. Like a lot of people were attracted to my booth. Um, and yeah, everything just worked out. Everything worked out as it was supposed to. I will say that because this was a mushroom themed event that I wish I would have made more mushroom themed items. Like I came prepared in the sense of having mushroom items, but the way that those things sold so fast, so, so fast. Within like the first hour, I think I had 200 customers. Crazy. Um, and most of my mushroom items sold immediately. And it got to the point where I um, I ran out of all my earrings. I sold out of my earrings. And for this specific event, I was wearing a pair of my earrings just to, just, just to show people what they would look like on. And it got to the point where I didn't have any left. And this lady, she was like, I just love your earrings. And I was like, I had some here, but they sold out. And she was like, oh, really? Like, uh, and I was like, yeah, they, they did. And I was like, I think I have them online. And, um, I thought I did, honestly, but I took them off because this specific design was made for my fall drop. And um, I just took off everything for my fall drop because it wasn't moving like I wanted it to on online. So she was like, I just love those earrings. And she just kept looking at them and she was like floating around my shop for so long, like looking for something else to like replace her want for my earrings. So I told her, I was like, you can just have them. Like I can, I can sell these to you. And she's like, no, 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 it's okay. And I was like, I can just, I can give these to you for a discount since I'm wearing them. And I told her, I was like, I honestly just made these earrings yesterday for this specific event. And she was like, no way. I was like, yeah, I did. And, um, and she was like, oh, well, I like these hearts. And then she kept looking at my earrings. I was like, here, and I took them off. And uh, it was like a little card on the table like this with just like some, I don't think it was these, it might've been a pair like this, but anyways, I um, replaced the earrings that I had on, or I was about to replace the earrings I had on with the card. And she was like, no, I'm about to just put them on right now. And I was like, okay. And then she literally took the earrings. Well, I took the earrings out of my ear and then I gave them to her and she put the earrings on. 
immediately. And that was just such a warm feeling. And I'm not sure if I said it, but I ended up giving, giving them to her at a discounted price since I was wearing them. But that was something I've never done before. And it was just such a fulfilling feeling like, wow, like people want my stuff to this extent. Like, wow, it was just so, so heartwarming. Um, and it was great. I ended up meeting someone who watched one of my YouTube videos and that was surreal because I'm not gonna lie sometimes it just feels like I'm making these videos and like I'm the only one watching them and it's just gonna be something I can look back on to see how far my business has come but this girl she had watched my method on how I price my products and she told me she was like do you make YouTube videos and or she asked me she was like do you make YouTube videos and I was like yeah and she's like, my friend sent me your video about pricing and I loved it. And it just, oh my gosh, it felt so good knowing that people are actually utilizing my videos and, you know, applying it to their business and seeing growth from it. That was phenomenal. So if you're watching this, thank you so much for saying hi. Um, I hope that the event was as successful for you as it was for me. It was so nice meeting you. All right, y'all. So you know that I'm all about transparency and how much I make at these events. So with this being my most successful market, I made $1,500 in the span of six hours, which I feel like for some vendors, they've made a lot more. But for me, this is such a huge success because like I said, I didn't know that I, um, I didn't think that I was gonna be a part of this, this event to begin with. Like it was something that I applied for, but it was said that, you know, it was fully booked. Like they already had all their vendors. So being selected, you know, like last minute and having a spot available for me to actually be there, um, and my expectations being literally like zero, like my sales goal was $166. And I ended up more than quadrupling my sales goal. Like that was insane and definitely so, so worth it. I am extremely excited about their Mother's Day event. I'm not sure if it's gonna be as successful as the Mushroom event, but either way, I'm excited to go to this Mother's Day event and um, just see and be around this community again because they really did support my business and I'm so very grateful for that. But yeah, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video of how I turned a cozy pop-up from what I thought was gonna be cozy to having crazy insane wind and the weather just being horrendous to it being my absolute best pop-up to date. I hope you love this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and like it. And if you want to see more content geared towards all things entrepreneurship, small business, and pop-ups, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.